Hey everyone, Sam here, also known as Mr. Stainless, 001, and today we're back in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now, today I may not be bringing you some uh, some enemy base tech downs with my handgun. Instead, I'm going to blow some stuff up in the background while uh, trying to protect a rebel radio, uh, and also bring you the lowdown on some recent changes to the game. So, recently Ubisoft patched Ghost Recon Wildlands in the second title update on all platforms. Now, in this update, the dev team wanted to focus on all areas of the game, from connectivity and stability to the gameplay itself. Now, I'm going to leave a link to the full patch notes in the video description, but I just want to let you all know about some of the more notable changes to the game uh, in today's video. First of all, two of the most popular changes are that we can now turn off the radios in-game by default and also choose the type of vehicles we want when we spawn them in using the Drop Vehicle Rebel skill. Not only will this give us more tactical options when playing the game, but for the content creators among us, turning off those radios by default will be a great help in making sure we don't get copyright claims on our videos. One other change I'm really happy about is that now when we play on Extreme Mode without the HUD, we can now choose which type of intel we want to collect when interacting with files or NPCs, thereby ensuring that the flow of gameplay isn't interrupted. The dev team then go on to detail some of the other changes they have made, including enabling certain missions to be replayable, including the El Cerebro, Sandoval Confession, Western Cocaine Cache, and other boss missions. I think this is really great. Uh, it'll enable us as players to go back and play through these missions in different ways and allow us to, to test our skills. Not only that, but the team fixed an infinite XP farming exploit on the Rebellion Rising mission. Equally, one rumour I did hear in the community over on Facebook was that if you had been using the exploit, Ubisoft would actually be rolling back your experience points. Now, I'm not sure if that's true. Maybe some of you in the comments could confirm that uh, if you have experienced it yourself or if you know of someone who has had their experience and their, their level rolled back to before they started using that glitch. These were the main fixes that caught my eye, uh, but there were a ton of things that the team fixed and changed in this update, which is really great to see. One thing I have heard talked about that I, I hope we see in an upcoming update is the ability to customize your AI squad teammates. I think this is something that definitely needs to be in the game, so hopefully it won't be long until that pops up. In the meantime though, let me know what you guys thought of these changes down in the comments below. What are the things you would like to see the team change or implement in a future update? In the meantime though, if you want to be kept up to date with all things Ubisoft, be sure to subscribe to be kept notified on when new videos go out. Until next time though, hope you're all having a great week, and I'll speak to you soon.